Sagittarius and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. These are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So these messages are intended for Sagittarius Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. To crown the reading, I will be pulling out a few cards from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. Okay, otherwise let's begin here. <coughs> I am losing my voice, so um, bear with me, guys. Okay, we've got a few cards that have just flown out there. The Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay, Sag. I get that someone is either stuck on you or you're stuck on someone or something here. And you can't move on with the Five of Cups energy, okay? Um... You can't move on because I feel like some of you are just not ready emotionally to move on from that person. Some of you just never got the closure that you needed to sort of close things up. Some of you still have feelings for this person. Some of you I feel like were so, you were left so emotionally disappointed that you can't make peace with that pain or you can't make peace with that frustration. I'm here to tell you that it's okay. It's okay to feel the way that you do, okay? It's okay that you're stuck. It's okay that you're not ready to let go. It's okay that you still have feelings for this person even though they hurt you. It's okay that you feel let down by this person. It's all right. It's all okay, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, you can't move on from someone. You can't force yourself into moving on from someone or something when you're not ready. You will know when you're ready, okay? You will know. One day you'll just wake up and you just feel like you're ready to let them go, okay? It doesn't mean you have to forget them. It doesn't mean you have to forget the pain or the lesson it taught you. You can remember them, but I don't think there'll be such a heavy energy attached to, you know, their name here. So it's okay if you're still stuck on something, okay? Obviously, if you're still stuck on something or someone, it's going to be really hard to move on, on uh, to move on with things like you know, it'll be hard for you to enter into a new relationship if you still have feelings for someone else. But I feel like that's something that you're aware of. And I feel like that comes into the whole notion of you not being ready. So if you're not ready to put yourself out there, if you're not ready to begin that relationship, or if you're not ready to stop loving you, to stop loving someone who's um, might have stopped loving you a long time ago, it's okay that you're there, okay? Um, I feel like it's better still if you acknowledge that you are where you are and you know where you need to go. But take your time. Healing, I mean, takes time. And there's no time frame, there's no right time for anyone. Um, take as long time, as long of a time as you need, okay? That's what I just wanted to tell you. And with the Nine of Cups, I feel like for a lot of you, I'm seeing alignment here. So <clears throat> this alignment, I feel like a lot of you are coming into alignment with something or someone. Um, and maybe it takes place after some healing and after some you know, self-analysis and some self-reflection. Maybe for some of you, I feel like you're just ready for this thing. I get the message that you're... There's something here that I feel like is you're attracting and you're manifesting someone or something. It could be a relationship. It could be a new romantic energy. It could even be a past energy. But I get the sense that you're in alignment with this person. Now, I'm not promising if it's a past energy, I'm not promising that this person comes back and then, you know, you just fall back in love with this person and you ride off into the sunset, Disney style, and live happily ever after. I'm not promising that. The cards are not promising that. But I do feel like the reason why you hear from this person or the reason why you connect with them or the reason why something happens for you is because you're in alignment with it. You're a vibrational match. So you've been thinking about this person. This person has been thinking about you. You have feelings for them. They have feelings for you. You know, some of you are ready for a relationship. You're attracting someone who's ready for a relationship as well. So you're in alignment with something or someone. So whoever enters your life or whatever you know happens for you around this time i feel like just know that you're in vibrational alignment with this person and know that it's destined and it's meant to be you know whether it's meant to be for the long run or the short term short term you know fates decide but there is something here that i feel like you're so closely aligned with you're so matched your energies are just so matched here it's crazy <clears throat> this is also the like law of attraction tarot card right so i feel like you know you're just there needs to be a reminder that you're attracting your thoughts become your reality so watch your thoughts very closely because essentially you're a magnet okay and what you put out there your magnet of vibration essentially comes back to you so some of you i feel like you know you're putting out an energy where there's like a fear attached to that energy some of you i feel like you might want a relationship but you're still 
you know, fixated on the past. So your energy is still stuck on the past. This is why you can't move forward. So, you know, what you want, your thoughts, you need to be in alignment with your energy. So some of you are putting out, I guess, an energy that isn't in alignment with what you want. It contradicts what you want. This is why you're not getting what you want. So make, watch your thoughts, watch your vibrations, because it's like a boomerang that's coming back to you here. Now, the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, I'm seeing there's something here that you need to either you need to think about it or you've been thinking about it for too long and you need to take action okay you know which side you're on so for some of you i feel like you need to give it some more thought you might need to reconsider you might need to think about it a little bit more longer before you reach out and communicate with this person you might to think you might need to think about it like long and hard is this really what you want is this really you know where you want to take things to some of you i feel like you need to think about things a little bit more deeply okay whilst others i feel like you're done you've done the opposite and you thought about something far too long and the thing about with overthinking is that we begin to construct stories or tell our things that might not even be there to begin with so some of you like you've been doing enough thinking to the point where you've overthought this and you need to take some action here otherwise i feel like you'll never know okay some of you need to put yourself out of the, out of your misery so to speak like you you've been wanting to contact someone and you're scared that they may not you know contact you back or they might not respond or you're scared that you know you might not hear from them from this person i guess there's only one way to find out right there's only one way to find out so you, some of you i feel like are being called upon to take action because if you don't you will never know and you just might potentially miss a good opportunity here so the knight of pentacles cause you to take action the five of pentacles you're someone here i feel like is um acting really cold or distant towards you or will be acting very cold or distant towards you it's a close connecting energy it doesn't have to be a romantic energy but for some of you it is you'll find that someone he is pulling away from you i feel like this is only temporary so try to not internalize or personalize this pain i feel like the reason why this person pulls away or they go ghost or distant on you it has nothing to do with you it has very little to nothing to do with you i feel like there's something that's going on with this person's energy it could be career finance related it could be they're just in a state where they're not happy with themselves and you know where the direction life's taken them so try and not internalize this okay this person will pull away but i do feel like this person will come back or i do feel like there's a reasonable explanation as to you know what's really going on with them okay so don't be so quick to jump to conclusions here make sure you hear their side of the story here page of wands this is you and a lot of you i feel like you're ready here maybe towards you know the end of the month or you know weeks or potentially months from this reading there's a sense where i feel like you got this renewed sense of energy there's an excitement here you're looking forward to something i feel like there's a purpose here um, it could be like a new relationship you might potentially meet someone and some of you might say you know I'm happy being single. I don't want a relationship. I, I just want to spend some time on my own, on, you know, on my own, or I want to invest in myself. That's great. That's awesome. But whether you like it or not, I see you attracting someone. So I see someone coming in to your life here. Um, there may be potential for a relationship. There may be potential for something serious, for something long term. It may just be some fun and games. Whatever it is, I see yourself enjoying. I see you enjoying yourself. So. You know, don't be so quick to judge a book by its cover. Don't be so quick to discount someone. Give this thing or give this person, give this thing a go, okay? Because you never know where it might take you. For some of you, it might just one day lead you down the altar, okay? Um, so something very exciting is happening for you here. And you're in such alignment with this person or this energy. Uh, for a lot of you, I just feel like you're ready to put yourself out there. Okay, you're ready to put yourself out there, and like you're like a magnet. You're attracting moths to flat to like a flame here. For others of you, I feel like you're ready for a new chapter. Okay, whether it's a new romantic chapter, just a new chapter in your life. I mean, notice the posture and the confidence and the excitement, the enthusiasm for what's to come. Okay, there's such an excitement. And a lot of it is because you don't know what lies ahead. Anything can happen. And I feel like this is where the excitement comes from. Okay, so we'll see what uh, the angels are whispering for you here. Mm, success. Okay. So some of you, success will be yours, okay? Something, I feel like that you're you're coming closer towards something, okay? Whether it's towards something or someone, because you're lined up with this person or this thing, it will be successful, okay? So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here, I feel like success will be yours. And for others of you, I feel like there will come a time, okay? It might not be as soon as today or tomorrow or next week or next month, but there will, be a, a, there will come a time when you're ready, when you're ready to let go, okay? And you'll be successful in letting this 
heavy energy go. It's up to you. Again, you, you know, you need to take the action because whatever this is, ultimately it's in your hands. It's up to you. So it's up to you whether it works out or it doesn't. It's up to you whether, you know, you, you, um, you message them or you don't. I feel like it's up to you. You get to decide where this thing goes from here. No. Okay. So I feel like the no is to anyone who is like, if you find yourself, again, if you find yourself involved with someone who's acting cold or distant towards you, no, it's not you. It's them. Okay. That's what the no is for. No, don't chase them. Give them space. That's what the no is for. I feel like, you know, it's no, it's not an ending. It's a break. So that's, that's how I see that no. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. Uh, feel free to check out my other content on the channel. And for those of you wanting a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.